Ladies and gentlemen, this Red Gaming Tentacom video, we're going to be discussing Xbox One internal resolutions. We actually have confirmation from Microsoft that Rise, son of Rome of course, is only going to be running at 900p. Now this is from a bit of confusion, so I'll uh, read you guys out the tweets. Originally, Aaron, I'm sorry, Aaron Greenberg said on Twitter... I can only speak of our games, but I know Rise and Forza will native be 1080p. He then gave a correction shortly thereafter and said, and I quote, Update from team, Forza 5 is native at 1080p, Rise is native at 900p, but Xbox One upscales all titles to 1080p and they look amazing. So as far as what we understand it right now, uh, for those of you keeping score, obviously you've got Rise, which is running at 900p, uh, internally. Then you've got uh, Forza 5, which apparently is running at 1080p, 60 frames per second. Killer Instinct, meanwhile, is at 720p, uh, and they've done this, the developers have confirmed, to ensure the frame rate is a rock-solid 60. As only fighting game fan knows, you don't particularly want it to drop to um, a crawling frame rate while you're performing combos, that it would be not very optimal indeed. And it's been unconfirmed, but it appears the new Dead Rising is supposedly going to have a dynamic resolution. It's not really been confirmed yet, so I don't want to speculate too much on that. And that's going to be at 30 frames per second. Now, to put this into perspective, and if anyone's a bit curious on this, 720p is a total of 921,600 pixels. Just to clarify, you could do this math yourself. You simply take 1280 by 720. It's not particularly difficult to work this out. Then 900p is, of course, 1600 by 900. To give that a little bit of context, that's a 56% increase over 720. And then 1080p, you're looking at 125% more pixels uh, compared to 1080p. However, the difference between 900 and 1080 um, is 44%. As I'm sure you can imagine, I've already heard a few quips, by the way, considering Microsoft were already, well, sorry, uh, people are already calling the Xbox One the Xbox 180. Some people have already been quipping. It's kind of ironic because, well, I'll let you do the maths between 900 and 1080. But anyway, there has been some concerns with people who have said, is this going to be a problem? Obviously, some developers have already stated that the Xbox One uh, it's going to be slower compared to the PlayStation 4. And to be fair, despite the fact that, of course, opinions are still somewhat mixed, it's not been confirmed uh, for all titles, the general consensus is that the Xbox One titles are going to be running a little bit slower or lower resolution, it appears from developers' perspectives anyway, uh, compared to their native counterparts I did mention, and you guys can Google this, it's a rumour going about that when Call of Duty Ghosts was first ported onto the PS4, and they were trying to get things sorted out as a, you know, as a testbed, without optimizations. the Sony platform was running at 90 frames per second, and... Everything was great and f and fine and splendid very easily. In fact, it took less than a month. I believe the figure was three weeks. On the other hand, three months was the Xbox One version, and they got 15 frames per second. And this was all unoptimized code, I'd hasten to add. Most developers are starting to say the reason for this being the ES RAM. Now, obviously, and this is the key, uh, I think people should really start focusing upon, however... This is first generation games. Now the PS3, if you actually take a look at the PS3 titles, they took a long time before developers actually started to really utilize it properly. Another example would be Grand Theft Auto 4 on both the PS3 and the 360 version. There was not much of a comparison really between the Xbox 360 and PS3 versions. I think most people would be fairly honest to say that the motion blur effect and uh, the level of detail and frame rate for the PS3 was nowhere near as good as the Xbox 360 versions. But you know what? That's not the same. There's a lot better... Um, there's far better parity between the Xbox 360 version and the PlayStation 3 version. 
Obviously, some areas one excels over the other, but the general consensus is that both are running at a fairly respectable frame rate at about 30 frames per second, um, according to tests. And from what Rockstar have said, there's going to be very little difference between the two versions. And that's just an example. So it is possible that the Xbox One could just be a little bit slower out the gate. In other words, developers are going to have some problems with it. However, it doesn't look very good. Uh, from the perspective of some people who are really into technology and or very into high resolution frame rates. Now, of course, this is internal resolution now. Internal resolution is completely different to outputted resolution. Now, obviously, the Xbox One's upscaler is going to be pretty reasonable. Um, even the Xbox 360's upscaler was pretty decent, to be fair. Um, and despite, and I'm sure most of you will be aware of this anyway, but despite the fact that, for example, the Xbox 360, you could choose, say, 1080p to output, but as most of you will know, that's not the internal resolution that most games were running at. Indeed, most games were running at 720p or below. There were very few native 1080p uh, titles, and most of them were like Xbox Live games or ones that didn't really have a great deal of graphic fidelity slash LOD level of detail. It's going to be very difficult to know. I have a feeling, and this is uh, based upon nothing other than developers' commentary thus far. And remember, this is very important. This is the key. This stuff is still unfinished. Even six months after launch, the developers, and I'm talking about Microsoft and Sony here, are still free to tinker with their kit with updates. So obviously, they won't be able to say sneak into your home and put in another four gigs of ram for example but what they will be able to do is better improve the graphics apis developers will be able to improve the coding and they will naturally be able to get a better understanding of the system but one theory that most developers have is that well some developers have not most that's misquoting uh, um is that you're going to get situations where you're going to be getting 720p, 60 frames per second, or 1080p, 30 frames per second on the Xbox One, and on the PlayStation 4, you're going to be much more often times getting either um, 1080p at 30 or 60 frames per second, depending on the title. It is worth noting, however, that there are compromises being made for both systems on certain games. For example, um, Battlefield 4 has been, you know, one title that's already been uh, mentioned a couple of times by myself and others, and of course the developers initially stated this as well. So I guess we'll just have to see how it progresses and whether it's um, a case of whether it's the API that's the problem, whether it's the the, uh, the actual understanding of the machine, whether it's just the fact that the, you know, the games themselves are very complicated, maybe they're not as far along in development. We do know that Microsoft, one of the the rumours that surrounded the Xbox One well before it was known as the Xbox One, back when it was known as Durango, one of the theories and rumours was that the actual system was further behind in development. And we're not necessarily discussing hardware here, we're actually more discussing the software side of things. So one of the theories was that the Xbox One's uh, software libraries and the software itself was further behind than maybe it should be. Uh, so I guess we'll just have to see how things actually come to fruition when the damn things actually released. Anyway, I think that's just about it for this particular video. Hopefully you found it somewhat informative. If so, my good sir, or madam indeed, then I would... I would encourage you to subscribe and or comment on the video and let me know your thoughts below. As per normal, if you would prefer to get a direct response from me, then you would probably be much better served to do so on Facebook. And so you could either just check out the end extra, which um, would pop up just momentarily, or you could go to facebook.com slash redgamingtech, and you can contact me directly. You can address it to Paul, which would be myself, of course, as there are several of us on the channel. Nevertheless, I will bid you a good day, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.